Is the squad good to go? The squad is good to go. Okay. I don't see any reason why we can't continue fucking it up. Keep on keeping on. Excuse me, pardon me. I'd like to know. Oh wait, I'm fighting B next. Oh, I should have just led with my fairy type. Damn it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're already in the second match of the finals of the four remaining challengers. Which two will be left for the last match? I feel like it'll be Rayhan again. Because we're going to beat her. I don't think it's going to be Piers. That'd be kind of weird if like, our last match in the four was against Piers and he didn't Dynamax. Unless it is him and then he does Dynamax. If you're just tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, we witnessed quite the surprise during the finals here at this year's Champion Cup as the former gym challenger, Betty Bed, stormed the stage. But Nabi was having none of it! This year's top challenger made quick work of him before washing away gym leader, Nessa. This sounds like the... <laughs> like the commentators in, like, uh, SmackDown vs. Raw season mode or some shit. You know, like, they'd have the scripted Taz and Jerry Lawler, like, Oh! Carlito tried to come down to the ring and double-cross Big Show, but Big Show was having none of it. <laughs> I wonder how they'll respond this Sunday at Backlash. On the commentator side, we have the Galler Karate Prodigy. Let's hear it for the gym leader, B, everybody. I pronounce it B, but I think I saw a comment where somebody was chewing me out. They were like, it's Bea? Or maybe I said Bea, and they said it was B, one or the other. I promise you, my attacks will shake your very soul this time. May the best trainer win. Okay. To be fair, probably should have led with my uh, Marta Tecmo. No, I feel like I would have gotten you turned. And I'm not even going to U-turn. You might have one win on me, but this is where I show you what I can really do when I'm serious. About to have two wins on you. Two wins on you. Two wins. Two wins on you. About to have two wins on you. Hey, about to have two wins on you. Not one, but two wins on you. <clears throat> going to send that to... uh. Little John for um, ad libs. It's gonna be lit. Little John and the Migos are doing ad libs on that. <clears throat> it's like a 53 second song total. It was just pretty much everything that I just did, but I'm gonna get Little John and Migos to do ad libs on that. Oh, how upsetting. I saw Leaf Blade and really thought I was going to get demolished, but it didn't. Interesting. Oh. Um. And after the like first 53 seconds of the song, like with the Lil Jon and the Migos ad-libs, it kind of like mixes into Taylor Swift's cover of September by Earth, Wind & Fire. <clears throat> and not just like a hook or like anything like that. Like it mixes like directly into like zero, <laughs> zero, one second of Taylor Swift September. <clears throat> I think for the remix, we're just going to get DJ Khaled to do a verse. <clears throat> oh, she's got a phalanx now. Did she have a phalanx before? No, because we hadn't seen phalanx yet. Oh, wow. It's kind of crazy that I can just kind of click snipe shot on all your mons. And it either takes all of their HP or most of their HP. Like, damn. Oh, their little eyes go into circles. But yeah, brand new song coming soon. Oh, I need to write this down. I need to jot this down. You know, these are the things that, like, <clears throat> I say in videos. And, oh, she didn't have a grapple lock before. Oh. Um, but like these are the things that I say in videos and people like repeat them back to me like three years later And they're like you remember when you said you were gonna do this this you remember when you said that or <clears throat> The most awkward one is when they repeat the reference back to me 
and I don't get it. <laughs> and I'm like, what are you talking about? And they're like, oh yeah, bro. Uh, episode 27 of this LP that you did five years ago, you said this. And I'm like, to them, I'm like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. But in my head, I'm like, what the fuck? When did I fucking say this? I think probably the best, I think the best example of that, and I actually do remember saying it. <clears throat> um, I think it was in the Alpha Sapphire. Machamp? Is he gonna have Heavy Slam? Or can I just <clears throat> do the damn thing here? <clears throat> so I think it was our Alpha Sapphire playthrough in the Delta episode. I think I made a comment about like when we were in space or it's time to dig in our heels. I'm not giving up, so neither should you. Something, I don't remember, it was either in the Delta episode of that series or in some other series I saw a Elgium or some shit or Porygon. And I made the comment that, you know, we were in space. Ah, oh, fine then, let's just destroy everything. We were in space and we could see Eldrum's fucking or Porygon's fucking or some shit like that. You know, it was like a real stupid little sly comment. Some some of that just dumb shit that came to my mind in the half second before I said it. And for whatever reason, just that one little comment just struck this person. And it's, it's crazy because like little things like that happen to me as well. Like there are times when I think back to like TV shows or YouTube series that I watch and there's just like little flashes, highlights of moments that was super cool. Oh, it's my controller. <laughs> but yeah, people come back to me and they repeat the things that I said in my videos and I'm just like, oh, when the fuck did I say that? Why did we use Max Flair? That's mine. Damn. Talk about a bomb ass animation. Whoa. We didn't die though. I was I was uh, wondering about that. Oh, it does the same thing. Same amount of damage. Same amount of damage. I was like, you know, I'm a psychic and fairy type. <clears throat> but both moves are the same strength, so. Fuck you, dude! Damn! Kirby just rocked your world, dog. <laughs> it's like if Kirby and Thor met, that's Kirby's Bifrost. <laughs> just took that to champ the fuck out of here. Back to Kirby Asgard. Can we get her a participation trophy, please and thanks. Please and thank you. Paula is level 60. Modesto is 58. Hey, you know what? You remember back? I said back in the day. You remember back when we first scooped up Marta Tekla and she couldn't even knock out a mine? She couldn't even be in the battle for a turn. Now look at her in the Elite Four and motherfucking Pokemon League smashing people. Demolish that. I mean, again, our typing is super effective against them. But still, it doesn't matter. We're successful. We're doing well. Your strength nearly made me want to turn and run in my bare feet. You only turn and run if you have shoes on? Damn, I can't turn and run. <laughs> I'm shoeless. B has been defeated. Challenger Nappy has shown his skill. Thank you for the wonderful match. I really enjoyed battling you and your team. I'm upset that I lost, but I also feel so satisfied and so refreshed. In a way, I guess you could say it was the best sort of match anyone could ever hope for. I hope that you'll meet many more trainers and have many more matches in the future. And I hope that every one of the, those encounters will nourish your spirit. The next match will begin in no time, so stay in those seats, folks. What did I tell you? I told you it was going to be Ray Han. They weren't going to do no Piers with no Dynamax. These are the results of the second round. Whoa! Contender Ray Han gloriously defeated Contender Piers. Bro, hey, Ray Han had the hypest gym battle, so I'm down for it, bro. Uh, sis, you shouldn't be forcing your way in here. Marnie. Uh... Sorry, Nap. Sorry, Nappy. 
I thought my bro could get revenge for me, but he lost to Rayhan. You look so sloppy out there that people are going to think we're both weak because we're related. You got it wrong, sis. Rayhan's just that strong. I mean, I guess it makes sense that he made it. He's Leon's rival. But I was able to show everyone in the audience how metal a proper battle without using Dynamax can be. Oh, yeah. All right, I get it, but that's exactly why I wanted you to win. I still thought it was a brilliant battle, though. I'm counting on you to win, Nappy. Got that? I'll be cheering for you. Sorry to come in for a chin wag just before the final match. Rayon's waiting for you on the pitch. We're looking forward to a right good battle. I wonder, I mean, I guess they give you a chance. Can you leave and, like, go restore, restock all your shit? Because, like, what's the point in them letting you... I don't want to fuck with it. My guess is that, yeah, they let you leave. Because there's no point in us coming back here every single time. Maybe it's realistic. The other battles are happening. But, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. Here it is! <clears throat> the last match of the final! <clears throat> Who will earn the right to challenge the unbeatable champion, Leon? Will it be the brilliant rising star challenger, Nabby? Or will it be the only trainer that champion Leon calls his rival? The Tamer of Dragons, Rayon! You're really something else, kid. You made it all the way here. I guess that's why the champion himself endorsed you, yeah? Leon's my rival and he chose you, so I've got to prove I'm better than you if I'm to beat him. I've reworked my whole team, and now we're all geared up for one-on-one -on -one battles. You might be thinking that you beat me once already, but if you think I'm the same Rayhan you faced during the gym challenge, you'll soon regret it. Ooh. Let's get it, bro. I'm ready to go. Gym leader Rayhan. Torkoal. Mmm. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting strategy. That's drought! It gets the sunlight burning real harsh. I understand. And I know that this will weaken my snipe shot, but your torque has guts. Whoa! Hey, we got it! Fuck this Torkoal, bro! Eat it up! Yeah! Yeah! You thought? You tried? Bop! Gudra. We haven't seen a net Yuko in so long. Okay, so I'm kind of tempted to go out to Paula, but I don't think Paula can Oko a Gudra. So I'm a little more tempted to stay in a U-turn just for the chip damage and go out to Shani and just tank any hit from the Gudra and then play rough it right back. So Basically, I like in my head, I mean then again, we're level 60, but still it's a Gudra. I don't think <clears throat> Paula's going to Oko Gudra with Dragon Rush. But I think Gudra could definitely Oko Paula with a uh, special dragon type move or ice beam. So, it's not a nuzlocke, lock, but I'm playing like in before the fire blast. You clicked Fire Blast on my water type? He clicked Thunder on my water type. Beat that up, Shiny. Not the best, but it's okay, Shiny. I want to see what happens here. 
Give us the free free play rough. Focus, Shawnee. Focus. Here comes the rain. Feel its cold dampness soak into your buddy. Bam! Shawnee with the focus! <laughs> Fuck your rain! Shawnee with the focus! Fuck your rain! Fuck your rain! Shawnee is coming through high horsepower. Is that more? Useful. 95. Um, fuck it. Let's go with it. I prefer Earthquake just in general, but Bulldoze slows it down, but fuck it. I like I like high horsepower. Turtonator. We can't stay in for that. Modesto would be the go-to here. Or a net Yuko needs to be able to Swallow some dragon type moves and hit back with some rock type moves. I said I wanted to get a net Yuko a chance some chance to shine. Look at these two beasts. These monsters. This is like Agron versus Tyranitar. Hmm. Should I tar shot him? No shell trap? Oh, we're changing the... Uh. Okay. Here you go. Have a taste of sunny day. Have you got a plan to counter it? I feel like he's going to... He didn't. Yeah, all right. Turnator became weaker to fire. So now this Turnator is fire dragon, correct? Let's heat crash him and see how much damage we do. He's become weaker to fire. Let's see how much damage we do. I mean, I think that was okay damage, considering. Okay. That's just so weird. It's like default. He sets up the sun, but it makes no difference because you just use the dragon type move. But at the same time, like that makes sense. He wouldn't use a fire type move against me. But still, dude, come on. Why set up the sun then? What's the point? Where's the pizza? Annette, you need to go ahead and get your level up. Flygon. You know what? We're 70 points of health. Do I let Paula have a chance to shine here? All right, you know what? I'm clicking Dragon Dance. Turn one, no matter what happens. I think Paula can tank, maybe not an Outrage, <laughs> but I think a Dragon Claw, I think we can tank it, maybe. Just barely. I was hoping he was gonna go for a dragon dance. But that's even better. You set up the sand. Instead of attacking. Let the winds blow! Stream forward, sandstorm! We only have one Dragon Dance up right now, but let's fuck it up, Paula. Let's fuck it up, Paula. That should be more than enough, because you're stupid high leveled. <laughs> That's crazy, though. I had maybe like one or two battles off screen that got experience. I think the one Wobbuffet I ran into on accident because my gamepad was just sitting there and he walked over to me. Hmm. Duraludon. I mean, I just hope that that means, because this Duraludon, what level is he going to be? Hey, we're staying in. You do realize I'm the great Rayon, right? I'll be the one to beat Leon, so first I'll beat you. 
I think that mod is super dope. Okay, level 55. So hopefully, that means that when we take on Leon, he'll have like a team of like late 50s, 60s. That'd be super dope. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, what he said. It's about that time. Bring the storm. My partner will send everyone to the stadium flying. Look at this big boy. Like a Godzilla. That's just such a dope mod, you know? That's such a dope mod. But it's a steel type. I was gonna say, I wasn't expecting. Yo, that's such a cool animation! Damn! I wasn't expecting the Oko. Let's do it! The dragon roars! Time for my ultimate attack! G Max Depletion! Holy fuck. I'm, I wonder what that looks like on the game bag. That must be just a bunch of pixels. <laughs> but that's a dope animation too. Damn, that's that's crazy dope. Hey, he's the only gym leader that I thought was like super into it. Maybe Kabu a little bit. But Rayhan's definitely the coolest gym leader. He's just like about it. Like I feel his energy when he's like screaming and yelling. It was hype. But get back to being a gym leader, bro. Losing in the finals is pretty rough. But I suppose I'd better take a quick shot to remember it by. Challenger Nabby seizes victory. This would be so hype if Pokemon were real and this was a thing. My lovely Pokemon and I have become much stronger than we were before. But you just blew right past us, beyond anything I had imagined. I'm still pretty young myself, but it just goes to show there's always someone younger coming up, reaching further than you ever dreamed. Ain't that true. And you've got your whole future ahead of you. Keep up the momentum. Prove that Leon's not unbeatable. Number 90 Challenger Nappy has achieved a dazzling triumph. The trainer who was endorsed by the champion... Fuck. Click the button. This is the result of the final. Fuck. Sometimes I look at like both lines so I know like what's coming up ahead. But I just didn't do that that time. Look at this grown man walking with him. <laughs> All right, the big moment's finally here, hey? I, j I came just to cheer you on, you know? Still, it's not easy picking sides. After all, it's the showdown between my big brother and my rival. What should I really want? Who should I really want to win more? Flay Ace. Right, you reckon I should cheer for Nappy too, don't you? Couldn't agree more. After all, we did start this thing out together way back in Potswick. Postwick. So you better beat Lee, you hear? If anyone can beat the unbeatable champion, it'll be you. Flay Ace! Flay Ace! That's what that cry sounds like. Excellent walking in place animation. 2020. You can't just have him turn around. <laughs> What, what, I, don't, I don't know what to say. So is it finally time? After all of this, it's time for us to finally face Leon? This is it. This is the moment we have been waiting for since the start of the game. This dude with purple hair and a big ass Charizard. I want to know what the rest of his team is. I hope it's very Galar unique. I hope he has a Galar form. It's kind of whack that he just has a Charizard, but I mean, I guess the Charizard could be like his Gigantamax Mon. Cool. I hope he has a Galar form. And I hope he has a cool, like, well-balanced team of good Mons. I hope it's not like my boy Alder. <laughs> Where like, Alder's super dope, but then his team was just like. <sighs> but that's in the past. Doesn't matter. We're here now. And this is the new 
mountain we must climb. He has golden eyes. The tense still air on the pitch, and the exact opposite from the audience, cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. Oh, I love the... He's out of focus and they're in focus. They want nothing more than to see one of us lose after all. It can fill you with fear knowing that, but I absolutely love pushing past the fear. I love giving it everything I've got as a trainer and seeing my team give everything they've got to seize another victory. It's the greatest feeling in the world, and I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partners itching with anticipation inside their Pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion time. I'm the Gala Regions champion, Leon! Me and my Charizard and all the rest of our team will use all our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. I thought we were friends. <laughs> Just spoke to me like Lucille Bluth. What the fuck? Wait, hold on. Hey, look at the monitor. What is that on the big screen? Hello, Daddy, I'm happy to letting you know. I think it's time I brought about the darkest day for the sake of Gala's future, of course. But I'm in a bit of a pickle! The energy released by the darkest day is too much for us to contain. Whoa! I'm sorry it's come to this, but it's you who forced my handy on. You refuse to listen! Oh, this is in all the gyms. Or in all the stadiums. So is this like basically third gen? Is this like basically third gen where like Rose had a plan to do something and ultimately the plan backfired? So it's like instead of wishing crystals, insert Kyogre, <laughs> insert Groudon. Is this the same story? Mm -mm. Lee, Navi. I don't know what this is on my cup. Every time I've taken a sip, I see it. it drives me crazy. That video stream, that was from Hammerlock Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? I don't know. But everything he was saying yesterday, did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve some problem a thousand years in the future? I've got to go see what's going on. I'm the champion. I have to go. I should have realized what the chairman intended to do before it came to this. I'll take responsibility now for fixing this mess. This is the real champion time. And he gets lost. <laughs> but Lee, you're terrible at directions. What if you get lost along the way? I want to help my brother, Nappy. I've got to go. But I can't even manage to beat you. So what sort of help could I ever be? Just try, bro. But what? What can I even do? Hold the phone. The chairman was talking about the darkest day. That's the thing where the sky went all dark once ages and ages ago, right? What does he mean? He's bringing about blah, 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 that about. And where did he even hear that name? Where do we even hear that name? Motostoke? Isn't this the exact same answer? That statue of the hero in Motostoke! Sonya said something back then, didn't she? Though it turned out to be wrong since there were actually two heroes and all that. Still, it's hopping me. Oh, Lord. I know there's going to be people that are like, Oh, oh bro, I figured that out back in, like, oh, the second gym. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. This whole time I thought Hop was just <laughs> here to be here. <clears throat> but Hop, let's go together. Let's go save the day together. Still, those two managed to bring an end to the darkest day with a sword and shield Pokemon. Sonya thought the Pokemon might still be sleeping somewhere, though, right? We should try to find them, Abby, but where to start looking? Sir Chester? Why the fuck in Sir Chester? There was the bathhouse? Postwick? There's nothing. I think it's Slumbering Wield. That's it, Nappy! I'm sure it's gonna be the Slumbering Wield. That illusion you tried to fight off that day. It must have been one of the Pokemon that are supposed to be sleeping there. Let's go back to the Slumbering Wield. If we're lucky, we can find something that can help. 
Wow. Interesting. Okay. Weird story. A little bit weird. And of course she's here. Of course. I think she's the Pokemon. <laughs> huh? Nappy and Hop? Oh, I completely forgot about the championship match. How? It's the most important thing in the region. <laughs> what are you two doing here? <sighs> Haven't you been watching the news at all? The tournament is off, Sonya. The chairman saw to that and is sending the entire region into a state of havoc. Huh? What? What happened while I was researching things in the slumbering wield? Well, for starters, there's a great black storm or something raging over Hammerlock Stadium. What are they calling it? The darkest day? It's thrown everything into disarray. Still, I'm sure we don't need to worry too much. The unbeatable champion will be able to take care of everything, won't he? Hold on a tick, ma'am. Did you say the darkest day? The darkest day is the name for the black storm that nearly brought the Galar region to ruin in ancient times. So what are you here for, Nappy? To search for the sword Pokemon. I suppose if the legends are true, then the sword and shield Pokemon should be able to prevent the darkest day from coming to pass. That may just be what we need to beat back the Black Storm. Okay, here's this. You should head to the Slumbering Wheel. I'll catch up with you once I'm done looking for something, looking into something that's been bothering me. What could that be? So this big black cloud, it's Ganon. It's not anything else. We have the wild area. This is already trying to be Pokemon meet Zelda. We're getting a Pokemon Zelda crossover. Mark my words. Mark my words. <clears throat> They're just gonna fuse the two series to, to, together. All that matters is that you do what you can. You must, or you become a fine Pokemon trainer after all. 